the instructor can introduce learning objectives relating to complications of mechanical ventilation. By tapping on the complications tile, the instructor is presented with a list of available complications. For example, to activate tension pneumothorax, all the instructor has to do is select tension pneumothorax and then define whether it is the left or right lung. Once this is active, the parameters on the student device change appropriately and the algorithm defines that, for example, in volume control mode of ventilation, much higher pressures are needed to achieve the selected tidal volume. In pressure control ventilation modes, this would manifest as a sudden reduction in the achieved tidal volumes. Once the tension pneumothorax complication is activated, the algorithm will also lead to immediate changes in the SpO2 and blood pressure. In this example, the SpO2 will rapidly fall over, a cor over the course of approximately two minutes. If there is a third iPad in the system, the measured blood pressure will also rapidly fall to a peri-arrest situation. If the student performs diagnostic investigations such as ultrasound or chest x-ray, these can be introduced to the scenario also. For example, if the student performs a chest x-ray, this can be presented on their screen, either left or right. However, you would expect in an emergency, emergency situation, an ultrasound may be the investigation of choice. So a diagnostic ultrasound with no lung slide could be used alongside clinical assessment. And there is also a, an ultrasound with normal lung sliding to enhance the learning objectives further. When the student performs the necessary therapeutic intervention, such, such as needle thoracostomy or finger thoracostomy, this also leads to appropriate clinical changes from within the algorithm. For example, when the instructor selects finger thoracostomy, the lungs become much easier to inflate and the tidal volume can be achieved with normal lung inflation pressures once more.